Don't transfer us to prison, DCP, Abakiari, and others. Beg court. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, really appreciate you. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name amen thank you once again yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country abakiari had just been arraigned um in court um following the um fraud allegations against him by the ndlea we recall that earlier on this morning we did report that the ndlea re uh, released a statement that they are not trying to scuttle or they are not trying to um stop abakiari's extradition to the u.s that's for another case that they are just following due process now abakiari has been arraigned in court and himself and the others being um charged are pleading not to be sent to prison we'll bring you all of the details in a moment but before we do guys please don't forget to give us a thumbs up click on the like button and if it's your first time here, you're very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Now to the news. The suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, DCP Abakiari, who is facing a drug trafficking charge, on Monday begged the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja not to remand him in prison custody. Kiari, through his lawyer, Mr. Kanu Agabi, San, prayed the court to allow him to remain in the custody of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, pending the hearing and determination of his fresh application for bail. The embattled DCP, who hitherto headed the Police Intelligence Response Team, IROT, made a request after he pleaded not guilty to an eight-count charge the NDLEA preferred against him and six others. He was docked before trial justice Emeka Nwenke, alongside four other police officers, ACP Sunday J Ubia, ASP Bawa James, Inspector Simon Agirigba, and Inspector John Nuhu, as well as two alleged drug traffickers that were arrested at the Akanu Ibiam International Airport in Enugu, Chibunam Patrick Umiebe, and Emeka Alphonsus Ezewan. Whereas Kiari dressed in blue native attire and his police co-defendants pleaded not guilty to the charge, the 6th and 7th defendants, Umebi and Ezewan, pleaded guilty to allegations against them. Meanwhile, shortly after the defendants entered their plea, the NDLEA through its director, Prosecution and Legal Services, Mr. Joseph Sunday, applied for a trial date and for review of facts in respect of the defendants that pleaded guilty to the charge. The NDLEA equally told the court that it filed a counter affidavit to oppose the release of Kiari and that of other four former members of the police IROT on bail. However, Agabi San, while arguing that the charge against the defendants contained bailable offenses, he urged the court not to accede to requests for facts in respect of Umebi and Ezewan. Agabi San contended that it would be prejudicial to his clients for facts of the case to be reviewed and a decision reached on it while the trial is still subsisting. He further made reference to cases where defendants out of ignorance pleaded guilty to a charge against them. It is not in the interest of justice for the fact to be reviewed while the trial is still ongoing, he added. He also noted that both Umebi and Ezewan were also mentioned in some counts in the charge that involved Kiari and the others. On his part, the prosecution counsel, Mr. Sunday, maintained that reviewing the facts of the case would not prejudice DCP, Kiari, and the others. My lord, this sort of application by the defendants is to undermine the capacity of this court. This case is to be considered on the basis of the evidence before the court. I do not see how the first to fifth defendant will be prejudiced since we are going to confront them with evidence against them. The most proper thing is to dispose of the case against the sixth and seventh defendants. 
it would be unjust and unfair to keep the two defendants in custody while waiting for the conclusion of the trial of the others. It is better for them to be convicted to enable them to start serving their sentences, the prosecution added. After he has listened to oral arguments from both sides, just, trial justice Nwetsi said he would want the parties to formally address the court on the issue next Monday. Abakiari is seen sitting in court and then um, we can see the other accused seated by him as well. They look very, <laughs> they are not in a good state. That's the word to use. They are not in a good state right now. Probably they are just thinking about the whole thing again. But right now, Abakiari's um, lawyer, they are pleading on their behalf that they should not be sent to prison. That in the meantime, while the case is still ongoing, they prefer to remain with NDLEA. They prefer to remain in the custody of um, NDLEA. In the meantime, we know that some of the accused pleaded guilty. Abakiari pleaded not guilty, but some of the accused pleaded guilty. And we know that looks a little bit dicey. Same charge against, same allegations against, same set of persons, seven. Among them, some are pleading guilty. And those ones that are pleading guilty, we know the way it's going to go. Maybe they are going to testify. They are not going to testify against Abakiari and his colleagues. We don't know how that will play out. But um, the case is still ungoing, and um, Abakiari's um, counsel is pleading that um, it's it will not be proper to just conclude. They are even insinuating that those um, <laughs> the ones that they laid allegations against that probably they just pleaded guilty without knowledge under duress. I mean they are adults. It's possible, we've seen cases, maybe they've been tortured or they've been told they lie to plead guilty and so that your sentence will be reduced or something like that. We've seen instances like that, but we don't really know if that's the case. But um, Abakiari's counsel was trying to suggest that, that that could be the case, that this case should be given some time to actually get uh, um, to the bottom of it. We'll see how all of this uh, plays out. Uh, we know earlier on in the day, NDLEA um, spokesperson confirmed that um, they are not trying to play any games. They are just following due procedure. That Even the reason why they did not parade Abakiari and his colleague in the initial stage was that it's not their practice to do that. But for now that they've started appearing in court, that they've been arraigned, uh, we know that uh, we can see them and we can follow the case through to see how it's all playing out. Leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.